In this video, we'll look into the rule for disjunction. In the previous video, we saw that uh, rule for conjunction, right? Like disjunction is or, or gate. Okay, so given a proposition, okay, P, R, B or Q, anything is given. So given in the sense it is valid. So valid in the sense there is a possibility of truthfulness of the statement. If P is valid, then P can be connected. Like what is the truth table for R? The truth table for R is like if one statement is true, either P or Q. If any one is true, the resultant is true or it is false. So this is the truth value. So if these statements are valid, like if any either P or Q is valid, if it is compared with any other statement, if it is uh, connected using disjunction for other statements, then that statement is also valid. So that is the rule for disjunction. So this is your uh, natural deduction rule. So uh, we can insert and disjunction or insertion, like if P is valid, then P can be connected with Q or R, R, S or anything. Okay, if P is valid, then you can use and disjunction for connecting it with any other statement, then the statement is also valid. Like then the entire statement will be valid. Similarly, if Q is valid, then Q can be connected with PRQ, RRQ, SRQ or anything. If any one statement is valid, then you can use the connection like this. Okay, so this is a simple one, like when you are connecting with that disjunction, this is insertion, R insertion. Now, uh, the complicated thing is, what is the rule for R elimination? If there is a statement and you want to eliminate an R, that is given P, R, Q. Now, this R need to be eliminated to uh, validate the statement. Sometimes we need to eliminate this R and it has to follow the same rules too. Okay, for R elimination, we cannot directly eliminate. Like uh, this, if the statement is valid, it means that either P is either P is valid or Q is valid. So you don't have any proper justification of saying that whether P is valid or Q is valid. Like what happened in uh, conjunction, the statement will go to valid statement only if both P and Q are valid. So this states that either P or Q. Okay, so this is the statement for AND connection, but when it comes to R connection, the statement for P, R, Q will get valid if either P is Q or true or P is valid or Q is valid. So we cannot have any proper justification for that. So for that, what we can do now, like uh, there is one statement, like we start with P or we start with Q and we'll have some derivation, some steps of derivation, and finally it derives to something. Okay, using the given uh, proposition, like using the given uh, transition, whatever it is given, if there is a possibility of getting same equation for both, like same uh, propositional logic for both the side, then we can say that the given term is valid. The derived term is valid, like by taking P or by assuming Q, by, uh, by proceeding with some set of statements, if there is a possibility of retrieving to an uh, equivalence to terms like this, then we can say that this X is valid. Like for a better understandability, I'll take one example, okay, to show that how it is actually working. Uh, let me take this example, PRQ derives QRP, okay. So here we are going to prove that this statement is valid. How will you prove it? This is premises and this is conclusion. From this premises, we are going to derive to this conclusion. Okay, so what is the given premises? P, R, Q is given. This is the premises given. And second step is, I'm going to start with the assumption. I'm going to prove it as Q, R, P. So I'll just start with the assumption P. So this is one assumption. So with this assumption, I'm going to like, we start with this first term. That is what I told you, right? We start with this first term. We take P as an assumption. And if P is valid, what we can prove? P can be like using R insertion to step two, we can write it as QRP. Okay, so this is valid. Like this is one of the assumption that we make. And with this assumption, 
we are going to make that like if P is valid, then we can write the statement as QRP. So this is the derivation. This is the conclusion that is needed. And uh, fourth step is I'm taking the second assumption. Like I'm going to take Q is valid. So this is also an assumption. So with this assumption, using an uh, R insertion, I can write it as by R insertion of step four, we can write it as QRP. So this is also possible. If P is valid, we can write the statement as QRP. If Q is valid, we can write the statement as QRP. So now this is the terminology that we have stated. Like it both derives to same statement when we consider this premises. Like this is also QRP and this is also QRP. If this is possible, then what is the resultant one? We can say that the derived term QRP is valid. QRP is valid by combining, by eliminating uh, R elimination from this step one. Okay, using the derivation two, two, three and four, two, five. So this is how you have to give the uh, justification. Like we have eliminated this R from the statement, from the statement one taken premises. And by deriving two to three, it derives to this QRP. And from four to five, it derives to QRP. So with this, we can prove that QRP is valid statement. So from this premises, we are able to derive the statement. So I think you understand it better. Like this is the given premises. And from this premises, we take two statements separately and take these two as an assumption. And we try to derive to an conclusion over here. We can make any natural rules and we can, like if some other premises is given, we can combine those things too. And finally, if there is a possibility of deriving certain term in an equal condition for both the things, then we can write it as the derived term is valid. Okay, thank you.